Now to an update on the death of a woman who died while undergoing cosmetic surgery. Tonight, we're learning more about the doctor who performed that procedure. Local 10 News reporter Cheyenne Malone is live in Southwest Miami-Dade with the latest. Cheyenne. And Lori, not only are we learning a little bit more about that physician tonight, we're also learning more about the patient. I spent some time with a family at the hospital last night. It turns out she had been here to the same cosmetic surgery center two other times prior to last night. The outcomes of those surgeries we know are very different. She was like really good person, like very good heart. She was amazing. Carolina Flor devastated over her sister's death. Maria Christian went in for a tummy tuck procedure at Vanity Cosmetic Surgery in Southwest Miami Dade Wednesday afternoon, but the 32 year old wife and mother of two died the same night. The guy said that her heart had stopped over there, and when they brought her here, they tried to just resuscitate her, but it was without luck. Flora says Dr. Camille D. Chavez performed the operation who, according to the Florida Department of Health, has a clear and active license and is in good standing with the state. The venue she practices at, though, revealing a different reputation. The Better Business Bureau giving vanity cosmetic surgery an F rating. We found 109 complaints against the clinic listed within the past three years, 95 of them problems with products and service. We stopped by to inquire about the complaints, but... Yeah, we don't have any Vanity later releasing a statement expressing their deepest condolences to the family, explaining the doctor followed appropriate protocol, but the patient developed cardiac arrest towards the end of the operation. The result ending in Christian's death, something her family is struggling to accept. She was like, you know, young, like healthy, work out. So like to me, I don't understand how her heart could have stopped. And that photo there, one of the last memories the family shared together, they tell me that was just on Sunday. Her two-year-old son, he was just turning two, and they were celebrating that moment. She also leaves behind another son. He is 12 and a husband who is devastated over his loss. Reporting live in Southwest Miami-Dade, Cheyenne Malone, Local 10 News.